Two hats? Has any president ever been like almost assassinated uh, twice? Like actually, because um, you know, the first apprehension of the uh, suspect, uh, well, he was you know unalive, but um, the second one, I believe, is alive. And what makes this unique to me is that um, I think we get to pick his brain a little bit. And the way social media is, we'll probably be hearing a statement from the guy who did it at some point. You know what I mean? Um, I think both sides are just... Uh, the desperation is so wild, whether it be marketing on one side or attempts on another side like we don't know i almost don't want to put it into like two different categories like one side is doing this one side is doing that necessarily especially something that extreme because you know we don't know yet details will unfold but it does seem like the heart of a certain side is more prone for there to be these random acts of violence across the united states not even just this which brings me to a uh you know a thought process where i'm like is it going to be safe regardless of who wins for just the average guy? Or is everyone really just going to be conflicted within their emotions and kind of like put it to other people? Like if I go to Walmart, is that in like fucking um, Colorado? Is that like an issue after this election? Regardless of who I voted for, you know what I mean? Like if I vote this way, am I going to get beat up? And if I vote this way, am I going to get beat up? Like for me or like I don't, no, like, you know, certain places, it doesn't even matter where my, uh, you know, where my thoughts lie, what I feel, because um, we don't get judged like that. We get judged within the first 10 seconds of meeting people. It's not necessarily I don't have time to pull out a Republican flag or a Democratic blue liberal flag. I don't have time for that. You know, when I, I just get judged based off of me, you know. Um so it really, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy time to be an American. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on, you know. I saw gas down the other day. It was uh, under $3, which is rare, which is amazing. Um, but at the same time, you know, around these uh, election times, I get, I get, you know, I get the feeling that gas was going to be down. So um, I don't know, man. What do y'all think about Uncle Trump? Um, almost taking an L, you know, for a second time. And um, what energy in the world is responsible for those acts? Like, you know what I mean? I never uh, got to grow up watching like the other assassinations and all those attempts of looking like the reasonings and all this. But like, you know, it's interesting to di look in and dive into it and kind of like look at. America and where we're at in the uh, emotional state of where everyone feels so strongly towards um, whether it be ideologies or beliefs, whatever the case may be, right? Or um, they, they're putting a person on a pedestal, whether it be a businessman or someone who seems to like have your best interest at heart when maybe this is just going into like a... Um, uh, how can I put this? Like an emotional vault, a bank. Like they're just building up a, an emotional rapport with you and uh, with me. You know, whether it be a commercial we see, whether it be an attempt on this person, an attempt on that person, an assassination of, a, of character, which is, uh, you know, prevalent within politics. So, like, I think a lot of times it's kind of like a big circus show. I think that a lot of this isn't really necessarily affecting your life directly or my life directly. I think um, more on a, on a local level it is, you know, like if we got into like our local governments and uh, the way our, our neighborhoods are being ran, the way the economy is being ran, the way, you know, I think it gets a little bit better when we look into it like more on a tangible level. Like I could go down the street and kind of like, um, work to fix certain things, but certain things I think it's just to propagate a different agenda, which I don't know what it is. I have no clue, you know. But um, 
it's interesting to, to, to talk talk about and look at because we live in a in a world now where it's the most random. Um, we can have an actor today, like we could like Taylor Swift, if she wanted to run for mayor of her city or governor of her state, whatever the case may be, it could potentially be done. Does she know anything about politics or government or people? Yeah, maybe. But like there's so many things missing and so many life experiences missing. But there would be so many people who flock together for that person. Like she would be, you know, victim to the same thing. Like as far as like a, an assassination attempt or anything like that. I don't. It doesn't matter who it is. I think once you get in that position and um, uh, the marketing lets people feel a certain way, you know, like you start feeling emotionally attached to a situation or a person, it could cause you to hate or love that person. There's people who pay, you know, both parties, like, way more attention than, like, the little things in their life that matter, you know? Like, you getting in that conversation at Walmart over liberal Republican, like, your dog needs some water at the crib, you know what I mean? He's not liberal or, or Republican. He doesn't care. He's bone. He's pro-bone. He's pro-dog food. He wants some of that. So I think we need to go, like, you know, that was a funny metaphor, but I think we need to handle those things more than to be worried about why people are signing up for these positions and feeling strongly about them. And then um, it's kind of like a crash-out culture anyway, regardless if it's politics or just regular life stuff. So, like, to put your emotional, uh, your emotions into it too deeply is concerning. I think we need to, like, put our emotions into something else you know because there's people getting literally knocked off every day in different cities where they're finishing the deal we have to figure out how to put that to stop because you matter I matter our people matter okay PV Tro is out if anything I said resonates with you or it made somewhat sense I'm not really good at YouTube yet but uh, hit the like button and subscribe for me so um, I'll highlight y'all in the next video later